I just died. I, I, there was, I, you saw it from the intro, but I have a, a zombie villager and now there's a lot of mobs that escaped and I died. It just, I just need, eh, eh, uh, okay. Um, uh, no blocks. I need blocks and I need torches and, in uh, uh, okay. Maybe not torches, but that little thing right there, that's where the uh, thats where the zombie villager is. I'm freaked out. I don't want to lose this. You have no idea how I saw something go right in front of it. Hello? Stop picking stuff up. That's my armor. Okay, we're going to fight them off one at a time here. Thorns. They got thorns. Uh, I thought that creeper was carrying a sword. That's my stuff. I want that iron. Oh, never mind. That one's off. <gasps> Not the platform. Ugh. Hello. That's my pickaxe. Can I have that back, please? So I managed to recover my hoe. <laughs> Out of everything, that's all I recovered. I hear more. Hi, you're in a boat. Ow. Ooh! That's a lot of damage. No. There's more. I think I'm going to do a whole light up. <gasps> Why so many? I'm really trapped. I am really trapped here. Okay, that's that one down. No! My farm! This is the worst! Where did that one come from? <sighs> no, it's becoming nighttime. Okay, we just need to get in there, get the torches, get out. Okay, okay. You are not allowed to have that. Okay. So. We need... Torches light everything up. Absolutely everything. I don't care. I don't care. Light it up. Right now, we're trying to save a zombie villager here. Hello. Oh, no. Please don't make me... Please don't make me kill. Why does a zombie villager have to have a sword, too? Out of all the things... It, it has to have the thing that's going to kill me. But as you can see, it has a sword. It has my armor. It has my pants. <gasps> I'm out. I'm tired of this. <laughs> this is so bad. But I managed to grab a lot of stuff. And we've got it secured. So now... Now we got to brew some potions. Uh, for that, we need bottles. Uh... I think, I mean, I have a fire resistance potion. We have two bottles here, so we're good. We're good. Start brewing. Okay, now that I've calmed down, we need to make that potion of weakness. So it is going to, or splash potion of weakness. So we're going to need a fermented spider eye, which takes some sugar uh, and a brown mushroom and a spider eye. So if we go in here craft this up so we brew that in first and then after that we add the gunpowder and we have the potion of weakness and we can take this golden apple and uh do that too so we are we're good we're gonna get a villager okay so that turned into a potion of weakness gunpowder for splash let's get ourselves the golden apple i have while waiting for the potion to brew made a little uh walkway boat way over here so we can put the villager over there for now in the boat uh once we cure the zombie so first we'll cure the zombie oh there's our potions let's first we cure the zombie and then we bring the villager over here to this safer or right here to the safe ish location so potion of weakness boom golden apple oh 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 we 
did it. Oh, I hear him. Can I have my stuff back? <gasps> Thank you. Okay, so now we get in with the villager and we are off on our land boat bridge over to this little platform I made for him. And at, at which point we will make sure, ow, uh, we will make sure that nothing can spawn in here. Here you go. Here's some torches. Yep, just two. And then close it up. And that's one. We need one more. Uh, let's actually see what trades this guy has. Why not? Oh, they don't have any workstation. Yeah, right. Duh. So, one down, one to go. I'll see you in eight more hours of grinding, because that's how long it took to find this one. <laughs> ah. Okay. I paused the game as soon as I saw it. Zombie villager right there with a creeper in the pen. Now... Hmm. I don't have the potion materials on me. I already checked to make sure, and it can't pick anything up. So if we throw some rotten flesh or something right there, didn't pick it up. So I'm going to try and cautiously kill that one. Now we look around. No one else around. Um, let's take that put that boat here come at me hello oh oh ooh, ooh, that was close okay that way hello come here come here come here yes okay we've got that one in place i just need to light this area up so that nothing can spawn in this general area i'm hoping this guy isn't going to despawn if i go upstairs let's go and get our curing materials i really oh i almost fell out of the world i really hope this guy isn't going to despawn when we come up here and get the curing materials there we go there we go Make sure it's fast. I don't think I went out of spawning range, but I could be wrong. Oh, please still be there. Please don't have despawned. Yes! Okay, that took significantly less time than the other one did. Whew. Okay. Two villagers down. Last time I was at like 60 levels, and now I'm only at 23. That was pretty good. Now, I'm going to make sure that all of these guys are dead while I wait. You know what the best part about getting these zomb both zombie villagers is? I don't have to use this farm anymore. This annoying farm that's blown up three times. No more, because I have a zombie villager. Or two zombie villagers. It is nighttime, so we don't have anything to worry about. Uh, We'll put them right over there. Same as the last one. But since it's nighttime, we don't actually have to wait for the zombie villager to change we can just uh we can just go because it's not going to get hurt in the sunlight so another one right here i want this to be full blocks that way they don't fall through whenever i take them out of their boats at some point let's make our little containment area for them i'm so excited now I can build a platform for these guys and start uh, setting up a villager breeder and get all that stuff going. It's uh, It's been quite the process to, to have this particular project set out as like the first thing I want to do in this world. So um, I'm happy that I can finally get this done. Hello, zombie. You're going to hurt me, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you're going to... Maybe let's wait until they're cured. And there we go. Right as I was getting the rest of my stuff, it killed me again. I was not very smart and I accidentally jumped in the boat again. So now we have Villager 1 and Villager 2. We need to make a platform for them to spawn. And I'm 
and like breed and everything. And I'm kind of thinking about changing this mob uh, farming building into the place where we have all the beds and the early village and all that stuff because it's easy. We just have to get rid of stuff, make sure the floor is full blocks, and it's already too height, protected from the elements. I think that's the best way to do it. Oh my god, the amount of bats I have killed, you have no idea. Actually, let's check that out. Statistics. Uh, mobs. Uh, bats. I've killed 82 bats! <sighs> oh, it, it would be nice if bats were actually useful. Um, I might be able to make a data pack or something that would make them a bit more useful than this. Um... Uh, we might work on that in this series at some point, making a little data pack add-on that uh, that makes bats more usable because uh, they're really annoying in Skyblock because they take up the passive mob cap, which is never a good thing. But I'm thinking that with some quote-unquote experiments, we would be able to make the bat... Uh, useful. <laughs> and this is just for the series, not for the actual map itself. We wouldn't add to the map like that. As I'm about to finish making this whole thing more livable for the villagers, I just realized this can also double as a an iron golem farm, right? If the ceilings a little bit taller so if we break this out and make it three box tall I'm pretty sure a iron golem can spawn here so I think <laughs> we're gonna raise the roof a little bit it's good it's not good for the villagers not gonna be as stuffy in here but uh, if we do this we might actually be able to get iron golems and we'll have areas like the door or whatnot that we can shoot the iron golem and they can't hit us eventually with a lot of arrows we'll be able to take them down and get some iron out of it with the iron we can get mine carts and make it easier to move the newer villagers oh oh we are progressing so far i am so happy that we finally got these villagers okay and it's actually nighttime, which is a very good thing. So once we hit the... Oh, no, oh, no. There we go. But once we get these villagers, come on, out of their boats, they're going to be sleeping in the beds, and now those are their beds. Perfect. And I will just have to break a block and place it back every time I want to get in and out of this place. But it is complete. We have a, potent a villager farm started. Now we just need more beds and uh, we'll start getting much, much more villagers. After quite a while of uh, killing spiders to make beds, we've got six, five. We've got five beds down there and there is an iron golem. So we've reached the iron age. We've got our iron and redstone age. And uh, I'm actually going to take this, uh, this brewing stand down there and as much rotten flesh as I can because I want to get redstone and we'll kill that iron golem with a bunch of arrows and we'll be able to get... <laughs> we'll be able to get pistons. This is huge. So, making sure not to hit anyone... I am going to shoot. Ooh, this is dangerous, actually. Okay, now I'm ready to go. I've got a, a bit of arrows. I hope that's enough. But also, I will be able to make this platform here so the iron golem cannot hit me. So I'll be far enough away where it won't, like, knock me off the edge. Here we go. So hopefully we get iron from this. There is a chance that we won't, but we'll see. Come on. We got this. Nope. Still going. Okay, it's dead. And... <gasps> iron. How much? Three pieces of iron. Oh, this is awesome. Here you go. Somebody picked that. Hello. You are now a cleric. Um, 
Hi. Apparently, I saved this one from being a zombie, and now we're getting all of the trades. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. This is so exciting. Uh, what we got now, we can get lapis. Uh, we can also trade gold, which is good once we get a gold farm going. Okay, so now we have 25 emeralds to spend specifically on redstone. Oh, refresh your trades, please. Another iron golem, more iron. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is, this is huge. So it looks like we're not gonna, this one's not gonna update their trades for a bit. So let me just jump up here while I wait and kill another iron golem. Step back. Definitely don't hit any villagers. Oh, trades are refreshed. I heard it. And we've got another. Oh, wow. That was a lot. That was five iron from that. Hello. Um, I would like to trade with you some more. Oh, you didn't, you didn't update your stuff. Hello? Why aren't you... I thought you, I thought you, you heard the noise, right? Why aren't you updating? Hi. You. Why? Why? You heard the noise? Strange. Well, we have 24 redstone and 8 iron. This will be huge. We're going to be making some redstone contraptions next set, uh, next uh, episode. Oh, I'm hyped. I have not gotten iron and redstone this fast in any other skyblock world, so I'm really happy that we did. Hello. Another one. I am super, super happy that we did this. So, let's check our advancements here uh, under skyblock. Uh, there should be... Uh, get a stack of iron by making some iron by making an iron golem farm. Okay, so we're not there yet, um, but we have reached this point. Oh, this is this is exciting. I am I am so ready to continue this. So until uh, oh there we go, more. Oh, okay. What are we gonna unlock next time? What's your trades? What's your trades? Glowstone. Uh, rabbit's feet, not the best, but we've got a, we've got the ability to get glowstone now without uh, making a witch farm. Cool, cool. Clerics are so powerful in Skyblock, it's not even funny. So, for now, this is going to be the end of the, what, another one? I'm just gonna keep doing this. So, until next episode, I'm just gonna keep farming, um getting as much iron as I can from these iron golems. I'll try to make sure that uh, the episode starts with me getting up to a stack. So that'll be awesome, and we can work on some redstone contraptions. Oh, I'm so excited. I will see you in the next episode where we will... We have upgraded to the Iron Age in Skyblock.